on my fucking YouTube channel. All right, Godzilla minus one. Great film, good shit, really loved it. I feel like a lot of people are acting like it's the greatest movie ever made. I don't think it's that. I think it's a well-made and impressive movie. I think uh, people aren't used to seeing such good CG out of Japan. Uh, I don't think that hinders, hinders anything there, but uh, I just think a lot of people are overhyping it for other people. Um, if you're a Godzilla fan, this is, is definitely a 10 out of 10. But uh, to me, I thought that there was really good human uh, moments. And I feel like the film has a lot of good messages to, to tell about, like, you know, what is family, what it means to be in family, what it means to come together to overcome things, a tragedy, a, a, a travesty and a tragedy. But the whole time, I, I found it hard to not really think about World War II. It, all right, guys, tell me if I'm insane here. But I just kept thinking, I'm like, you guys, you guys sided with the Nazis. You you know that, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know. There was just like this air. I was like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, but it just felt that was, I just kept sticking in the back of my head a little bit. I was just like, if you think about World War II a little bit more, you're like, we, it's weird. Uh, felt very nationalistic. But I think Godzilla should be kind of nationalistic. I mean, it's Japan. It's for Japan. It's about their trauma of the of uh, the nu uh, nuclear bombs. Um, so I understand that element. I felt like Shin Godzilla was very nationalistic in a sense. Um, and I wonder if it would feel less weird watching it as a Japanese person. Because I feel like in America, we have movies like that all the time. We have very, like, ura America movies. Um... Top Gun Maverick. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was always in the back of my head. So that was kind of like, I kept thinking about that. But it, it wasn't a huge hindrance on the movie. My, my biggest issues were I felt like uh, it felt like not a first draft, but like a third draft of the script. Uh, all the Godzilla stuff is 10 out of 10. All the, all the destruction scenes are, are probably the best in the series. Uh, for being completely CG and not practical, like at zero practical effects, like I was blown away by that. But uh, I kind of just had a couple of issues with like, it, it felt very like A to B to C. Um, like, oh, she has to get her job in this town so that when Godzilla attacks, there adds an emotional component to it which is corny but then when he attacks you're like this is the greatest action sequence i've ever seen and then it ends with like that shot of him just screaming and it's like that or like the, there was enough to keep me entertained like when it would start to feel corny and weird it would like immediately cut to something amazing so overall i think the movie is good um i just yeah there were just some moments and and I, uh that i felt were corny um, but, uh, besides that, everything else is, I don't know if I'm talking in circles right now. I'm trying to just get my thoughts out. Uh, yeah. Like for example, like when he first meets the boating people, like I thought they were a little, uh, over the top for like the grounded kind of real story they're telling. And then you, we start to meet these like cartoon characters. Like I'm the scientist. I'm the uh, plucky young guy. Like, <laughs> uh, but then it's like Godzilla comes out of the water and it's fucking badass. Um, so for me, I thought that some of the, the moments with the humans were a little hit or miss. But I felt like there was enough there and enough through line and enough heart that it never really dipped into like an area of bad. It just like hit a, like a mid area sometimes. But then it, it was like a constant like... Throughout the movie, I had a constant like feeling like this of like if I'm liking this or, or not liking it, and then by the end when it wrapped up, I was like I, the way this wrapped up, I fully enjoyed it. So those are my thoughts on Godzilla minus one. You guys have any questions about it? Did I make sense? I don't know.
Uh, let me look at the chat here. Um, it looks like no one is saying anything. The pilot should have hooked up with the mechanic guy. Yeah. Yeah, that was another thing. It's like, uh, you know, I think... I mean, it's a Godzilla movie at the end of the day. They're, they are kind of... Not kids' movies, but the, like in Japan, they're kind of for... The older movies were kind of for children. So I was kind of like... I feel like... I feel like he should have died. I feel like it's like he, they kept building up like I'm a kamikaze pilot who was afraid to do the deed. Like that also kept making me think about Nazis. I was like, ooh. Um, but a great concept. Um, I feel like it would have been like, like he did it. I know like what it's like a fucking. This was like the Marvel movie of Godzilla movies. So I know he they probably wouldn't want him to die. <laughs> yeah, I, her surviving didn't make sense, but she had like a like a growth on her neck. She has like the Godzilla virus or whatever. I just hope we if they do a sequel, it just goes up a couple of, like years, like it would be cool if it's like set in the 60s. Like do an Indiana Jones thing. And then we do each kind of Godzilla era. But I feel like it's hard to follow up a really grounded emotional film about World War II, post-World War II Japan with like the 60s and 70s Godzilla movies have like aliens and shit. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed them.